This is the Ibanez SRC6 and I really like it. Gotta be honest, I got this bass guitar off the wall after a few months. I thought, you know what, I never play this, I'm gonna sell it. So I may as well do a video, then I can put it on eBay and get rid of it. I've been playing it for about an hour. This thing is an absolute monster. It just sounds great. Last time I played it, every time I did chords, it just sounded a bit terrible. So if you're doing things, well, like the chords I was doing. Sounds all right. If you get a bit busy though, it can sound a, a bit terrible. So if I was... That's not too awful, but it just can sound a bit messy. So the more space, the better. I'm just playing completely flat. So we've got both pickups in the middle position. So you can, there's a blend obviously can go between the neck and bridge pickup. Bass mid treble, which I think is a weird layout. I thought you'd have the treble this side and the bass this side for some reason. So I've just got everything in the middle for the moment. Both pickups sound great. So we're gonna to go to the neck pickup, which is this. Sounds great, you can also whack the treble up a bit on that. I'm just gonna put it on full to give you an idea, but it's. Sounds all right. Same thing with the bridge pickup, but with the treble on full, it can be a bit much on this pickup, so. I'm just gonna whack that back in the center notch and It sounds great, it's so nice to play. The neck is well, it's Ivan is next, so it's obviously a bit mental. It's just really thin, really quick, hardly any lacquer. It's amazing, if I'm being really honest. It's a really nice bass. It does neck dive a bit, but this body is quite small and really thin, really shaped, so you know it fits well against you, but it does neck dive a bit, but not massively. Like probably a bit more than my SG. 
I could probably add a bit of weight down that end. I don't think I'd bother to be honest because I always play over the strap anyway. What I will say about this is I'm playing with a pick. Playing with your fingers is a little bit difficult because it's guitar string spacing. So the strings are about 11 mil apart. It could be a bit. With practice, you could almost certainly do it, but um, I'm just gonna play with a pick. I mean, I think it's designed to be played a bit like a guitar because it's guitar string spacing at the bridge and it's tuned like a guitar. So all the signs are there. I'm not saying you have to play with a pick, but it's difficult to play it like you play a bass normally. You can finger pick. Maybe we'll try something else that doesn't sound too great. you use this instrument? I think if you're a guitarist and you want to add bass on a track and you don't know how to play bass properly, I mean this is a, an easy way of just copping out and doing that I suppose, but I think it'd be cool as a layer on a track because you don't have to think about what you do. If you've got a standard tuned guitar and you want to add a layer on a track, say I'm playing that guitar part earlier. Well, that's a guitar part that I'm playing on bass exactly like I play on a guitar because it's only a 30 inch scale length, not 34 or 35 like you get on basses. It's a lot more like a guitar, so it's like playing a baritone, but it's in standard tuning, so it's just in E. So you don't have to think about it, which means if I want to add a layer where it's doing that, it works really well. So it's really handy for the studio. Live, I don't know how you'd use it uh, unless you've got a band where you've got two guitarists, your bassist has left, and you're like, uh oh, we need a bassist. And one of them's like, well, this sounds like a bass, that would work. Um, maybe you could play it instead of a bass. Maybe it's sort of, you could do a raw blood type of thing because it's very guitar-y, the strings are close together. It sounds fantastic. And the reason I went for this over, so you get, I think it's the Fender 6, so the VI, or IV, no, definitely VI. So there's the Fender 6, guitar bass hybrid thing, which has got humbuckers, I think, or single coils. You can get some guitars, I think Sub-Zero used to make one, uh, with humbuckers, and the Fender version's got single coils, and it's got sort of guitar electrics. And I thought, well, Ibanez have come at it from the bass direction, so made it more like a bass, so it's got bass pickups, which pick up the frequencies really well, and active EQ, which means you can really dial it in. All I've done is played around with the treble, to be honest. The mid's quite handy to play around with the bass. I wouldn't take the bass out. I mean, if I take the bass all the way out, I wonder how that would sound. Just sounds like a really low guitar. Doesn't sound that great. I think with the bass in it, definitely. You'd want it to fill that low end, although if you've got an actual bassist in one of these, you could be getting in on their territory, but it's no different to having a massively detuned guitar. I think this is definitely more suited to studio work. You want to add a layer, you think, what can I add? And you don't have to think about how you'd play it. You can play the same thing you'd play on guitar, and it sounds nicer than using an octave effect. They can sound a bit terrible. You can hear sort of the effect on it, whereas this... That sounds great. That could be the intro without a guitar layer, so... That's where this really shines. It just sounds absolutely fantastic. In summary, I'd definitely recommend one of these. I prefer it to, I prefer the idea of it. I haven't played a Fender 6 or any of the other makes of these. I just felt that this was a better angle to come at it. It's rather than going from a guitar and putting six thin bass strings on it in a longer scale, this is a short, more of a short scale bass with guitar spacing and bass electrics, which I think it just gives it more, t rather than just having a tone knob, I've got t uh, bass, treble and mid, you, you can just carve the sound a bit better. 
so you can make it fit in the mix better, which you're going to need to do because it sort of sits between a bass and guitar. I know it's tuned like a bass, but it doesn't quite sit like a bass because bass strings are thicker. They sort of fill that low end a bit more. So you could have it as more of a layer sitting between. It would be interesting to see if there is a band. If you're in a band and you've got something similar to this or this, and you don't have a bassist and this is your bass sound, you could definitely do it. And I'll be interested. Drop a link. Let me know because that would be really cool. I'm definitely going to keep this. It's just so nice to play. Really nice weight as well. The neck. But that's Ibanez necks. They're all really nice, to be honest. Thank you for watching. <laughs>